Let's talk more about slope. In the activity you did today, uh, you got the general sense about uh, slope of a line, thinking about the, the ratio between rise of a line and run of a line. And that's what slope is. It's a measure of how steep the line is. Um, so we're just going to go over some basics. I'm going to get formal here, and then uh, I'm going to leave uh, some slope calculations for you to do. Uh, so I'm just going to read through this, do these examples, and then you can do a couple practice questions. The steepness of a line segment is measured by its slope. The slope is the ratio, like we saw today, the rise to the run. And it is often, and we will often represent it by the letter M. So M, which is slope, is rise divided by the run. A lot of you today were, were actually taking the rise and dividing it by the run, which is fine. Uh, a lot of cases we will leave the slope as a, as a fraction. Let's calculate the slope of these two lines here, uh, these two line segments. Um, so what we're looking for is the rise of the, from one point to the next. And rise is, is the vertical distance, and the run is the horizontal distance. The way we do it is we draw these little triangles. Um, so notice, and the scale is important in, in looking at these graphs. So if I want to go from A to B and I want the slope from A to B, then I need to fight, figure out what the run is from A to B and the rise is from A to B. So notice, when I go to the right, I am going to go over from A to get the same kind of placement where B is. I have to go over two spots, okay? So i got to go over one and i got to go over two. Just count the squares or look at the difference here. Look at, if I have to go from one to three, then three subtract one is two. So my run here is 2. My rise here, I'd have to go up from 1 to get to 4. Please excuse the interruption. Attention staff and students, blood donor clinic will close in 5 minutes. So we're going to go up from 1 to 4. 1, 2, 3, right? You go up 3, and that's the same as taking 4. Uh, the, the end point subtract from the start point, you get 3. So my rise here is 3. I've gone up 1, 2, 3. So in this, from A to B, we have a slope of the rise, which is 3, divided by the run, which is 2. Uh, and, that's our, and that's a fraction in lowest terms. It's 3 over 2. If you do divide it, it is 1.5. But we're going to leave it as this number here, this fraction. So the slope of this line segment is 3 over 2. Let's do this one over here. This one is just going down, but we can calculate its slope from C to D. So from C, notice it's going down and then over. So since it's going down, we're going to go down 2. And notice that the difference here, we're going to go from, from 2 to 4. 2 to 4 is negative 2. We're going to go down 2. And we're going to go over 1, 2, 3. Over 3. And the difference there is 4 to 1. 4 subtract 1 is 3. So in this case, we're going down 2 over 3. So the slope of this line, since we're going down and then over, and notice how I got a negative 2 when I subtracted those. It's a negative 2 over 3. So its slope is negative 2 over 3, and we'll leave it that way as its fraction form. A couple notes. A few of you noticed this, and that was part of the last part of the investigation, that um, a line that goes up to the right. Okay, so notice this one that goes up to the right, because we always read from left to right. A line that goes up to the right is considered a positive slope. Notice we got a positive number here. A line that slopes down to the right. Now, it's going down as we go from left to right is considered a negative slope. This is kind of like our positive correlation and our negative correlation. Two more examples. Oh, we did those. Um, that's it. So I was, those are the examples I wanted to do. Here is your job. I'm going to, underneath this video will be a, the picture of this slide. In this slide, you have one, two, three, four different uh, line segments to consider. Each of those four, I want you to calculate their slope. That's it. Bring those calculations in on Monday. Plus, don't forget, detention buyout solution is due Monday also.